Hello everyone! Welcome back to Sierra Hansarang Church Kids Ministry Sunday Service. How was your week? Well, I had a very emotional week. You know why? Because today is the last Sunday service for Jua, Faith, and Ine in Kids Ministry. So whenever I thought about how much they've grown over time, it made me feel so emotional. So I made a video capturing some moments of them ever since I met them. So are we ready to watch it? Let's watch it together. letting us worship you. Dear God, thank you for this day you have given us. Thank you for keeping us safe from the coronavirus. Sunday service for them in kids ministry. So I'd like to send them off well to youth ministry by blessing them and praying for them. Oh, it's time to start the service. So let's start this with a prayer. So everyone put your hands together, close your eyes, let's pray. Dear Father God, thank you for this beautiful day. And Lord, thank you for allowing us to have this time together to get together to worship you, Lord. Today is the last Sunday service for Faith, Jua, and Ine in kids' ministry. So Lord, please help them to receive your wisdom and knowledge through today's main passage. So please be with us today throughout the entire time, Lord. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's time to praise. So everyone stand up from where you are and let's praise our Lord with all our hearts. So be ready to move your arms and legs nice and big and make sure to be loud, okay? So let's get started. <laughs> Thank you. 
Look what this is. It's a camping tent. Have you ever been camping before? What's your favorite part? Roasting hot dogs or making s'mores with chocolate and marshmallows over bonfire? Mm, that's my favorite part. There's so many great things about camping and I bet all of you have memorable stories with your friends and family. Camping is fun for a night or two or maybe up to a week. But how about camping for 40 years? <gasps> that's a long time, right? That's how long the Israelites traveled and camped through the desert after they escaped Egypt and before they went into the Promised Land. They had 40 years of camping in the desert. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about that. So today we are going to look further into one of many promises God made to his people during that time. So let's find out what is that about by reading today's main passage. It's Joshua chapter 1 verses 1 to 9. Once again, Joshua chapter 1 verses 1 to 9. It's on page 178. So open up your Bible to 178 and let's read today's main passage together. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now, therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, you and all these people into the land that I am giving to them, to the people of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given to you, just as I promised to Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, as for us, the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, to the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your territory. No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life, just as I was with Moses. So I'll be with you. I will not leave you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous, for you shall cause these people to inherit the land that I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and very courageous, being careful to do according to all the law that Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, that you may have good success wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Amen. God has chosen Moses to lead the Israelites into the promised land. Unfortunately though, Moses did not always obey what God told him to do. And because of this, God told Moses, you did not trust me enough to do things I told you to do. So you will not be the one to bring my people into the promised land. So when it was time for the people of Israel to go into the promised land, God took Moses up to a mountain to see the promised land for himself. God did this because he knew that Moses was about to die and Moses knew it too. So Moses asked God to give the people of Israel a new leader and God already had someone in mind and his name was Joshua. God knew that Joshua had the abilities to be a wise leader. So God told Moses to put Joshua in church uh, while everybody was watching. So he said, have him stand before the priest and the entire assembly and commission him in their presence. Give him some of your authority so that the whole Israelite community will obey him. So Moses did exactly what told him to do. He presented Joshua to all of the people of Israel. So after Moses died, God began to speak to Joshua. God's first words to Joshua were a reminder of what Joshua already believed about God. He said on verse 2, My servant Moses is dead. Now then I want you and all of these people to get ready to go across the Jordan River. I want you to go into the land that I am about to give the people of Israel. God told Joshua that all of the lands were theirs just as he had promised. But how do you think Joshua felt? Because Joshua had never been in church before. So being in church was new to him. Don't you think he was scared a little bit? 
Don't you think he'll be nervous? Yes, and God knew exactly what Joshua needed to hear at that right moment. He told him, this is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So this is a command God gave it to Joshua. God has given him a promise, and he has given us a promise that he will always dwell among us. He is always with us wherever we go, teaching us and guiding us, just like he did with the Israelites. But you want to know something really cool? He is our God who doesn't just say it, but always proves it with actions. So while all of his people were staying in tents, God came down and stayed in a tent as well. It is called the tabernacle. It was a special tent just for God. And while he was in that tent, he continued to show the Israelites where to go, reminding them that he is still in church and he would always lead them the right way. So just as God gave the orders to Joshua, Joshua also gave the orders to the people. Joshua even encouraged them just as he had encouraged him. Be strong and be brave. So Joshua became a great leader. He knew he doesn't have to be afraid knowing that God is by his side. Joshua always did as the Lord told him to do. And eventually Joshua led the Israelites from city to city and they captured all the promised land, just as, just as God promised. As getting older, there are many new responsibilities you gotta be take care of and be aware of. Faith, Ine, and Jua. You're no longer kids, you're in youth group now. How do you feel? I bet you don't want people to treat you like kids anymore, right? But it means you gotta take care of your new responsibilities. You gotta act the way you want to be treated. You gotta keep your words and you gotta be responsible. And I guess it can be scary. Uh, going into middle school is scary. Uh, new friends, new environment, new teacher, and more studies, right? But don't be afraid. Be strong and be courageous. We know we can trust our God because He is our Heavenly Father who always keep His words. And He said He's gonna be with us always, wherever we go. He's always leading us and guiding us to the right path. And do you guys believe that? Amen to that, right? I want you all to never stop believing God. I want you all to never forget that God loves you so, so much. And He's always with you wherever you go. When life is challenging you, when life is threatening you, don't forget that our Heavenly Father is way bigger, way stronger than anything else. So have a strong faith in God. How can we have that? Just like today's main passage says, do not stop reading the Bible. Do not let that be away from your mouth. Then there's no problem becoming like Joshua, who is a great leader. Be a salt and light in this world. I can't wait to see you becoming a Christian who practice the fruit of the Spirit in daily basis. I believe in you and I am so proud of you. And it was such an honor to be your Sunday school teacher. So thank you for everything. So I'd like to close to this message with a prayer. So everyone put your hands together. Close your eyes. Let's pray. Dear Father God, thank you for your message today. And thank you for your daughters, Jua, Faith, and Ine. Today is their last Sunday service in kids' ministry. So I would like us to pray and bless for them for their future. Lord, please help them to remember all of those wisdoms and knowledge they learned from Sunday service. Please help them to pull it out whenever they need that in life. As they're about to start their new chapter in life, please help them to remember that they are always protected by you. Lord, life is so scary and unpredictable, and it can be so scary for them. Please help them to remember that they don't have to be afraid of anything because you are with them always, and you're stronger than anything else, and you're bigger than anything else. And Lord, please help them to practice the fruit of the Spirit in their life. Help them to grow the fruit of the Spirit in their heart. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness gentleness, and self-control. Let them practice in their life. Help them to become a salt and light in this world. 
and help them to remember your grace and mercy and let them depend on you always. Let them seek you and find you whenever they're having hard time in life and whenever they're having great time in life. Help them to admit that you are their savior and you are the son of God and let them uh, practice reading the Bible, getting closer to you and pray to you always. Help them to fear you, Lord. Help them to remember your promises. Help them to remember that you are with them always. Please be their strong foundation. So we love you so much, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.